The ABC7 News I team revealed trafficking operations and alleged sex workers appeared to be soliciting outside a grade school in East Oakland one month ago. Now a group of mayors and police chiefs based in Southern California are joining an effort to repeal a law they say makes it harder to crack down on these crimes. Democrats and Republicans uh, have reached out across the state because they want to support the efforts to repeal this law. We are very concerned that children's lives are at stake and specifically uh, I have noted 60% of victims of human trafficking are foster youth. Shane Harris is the president of a California-based civil rights organization. He sent this letter to Governor Gavin Newsom urging for the repeal of Senate Bill 357, a law that went into effect in January, which prohibits police from citing people suspected of soliciting sex purely based on appearance. State Senator Scott Weiner, representing San Francisco, authored the legislation. I have spoken with the governor. Uh, directly. Uh, the governor has shared with me that he is very concerned about this uh, now and, and especially since the operation uh, down here in San Diego. San Diego District Attorney Summer Steffen says a recent sting operation in the city that led to 48 arrests highlighted the need for the law to change. Do you know that the traffickers and the buyers were boasting on social media that because of the decriminalization new law that they can just openly sell human beings for sex on our streets. Uh, I'm sure people say a lot of things, whatever jokes they were telling, or whatever they were saying, they just got arrested without the repealed loitering law on the books. Senator Weiner introduced SB 357 after he found the prior law to be disproportionately targeting transgender women who may not have been sex workers. But the letter criticizes that goal, saying it was missed and has caused great confusion to the efforts of addressing human trafficking. We need to repeal it. Oakland City Councilman Noel Gallo is joining the mayors of three Southern California cities and five police chiefs that want to repeal the law, including National City Police Chief Jose Tellez and San Diego Police Chief David Nislight. My biggest concern that's coming true is we're seeing young women being trafficked against their will, a lot of them being juveniles. It's now we're having traffickers who are emboldened by this law. I think the common layperson believes that prostitution is now legal. These police chiefs say the new law is making it more challenging to crack down on trafficking operations. Both pointed out before the law passed, a recent two-month sting operation that involved local, state, and federal law enforcement could have been accomplished faster with fewer resources. Before the bill actually took place, this could be accomplished by one officer that could actually uh, see that there was solicitation for prostitution taking place. Attorney General Rob Bonta also expressed concern about the law's implications. We will hold people accountable. Now, the le I'm not in the legislature. The legislature will have to determine what they want to make of any unintended consequences. Senator Weiner stands by the law and has no plans to amend it. He says any attempt to repeal it will be met with credible opposition as the legislation is backed by CAST, one of the state's largest anti-trafficking nonprofits. Why would we have a criminal law allowing a police officer to arrest you based exclusively on how you look, not on what you do? That's wrong. We shouldn't have that kind of law on the books and the police have plenty of tools to deal with trafficking and they should be doing more work to address human trafficking and less complaining. The police chiefs and mayors will be going to Sacramento in a couple weeks to advocate repealing this law. We will cover that meeting and let you know what happens. For the I-Team, Stephanie Sierra, ABC 7 News.